Good day lords and ladies and welcome back to Battle Brothers. We are not on a great position. We lost one bloke last episode and we had to fire someone else because he was pretty much too badly crippled to continue. Our money situation is okay. Our tools aren't fantastic. No work. Plus there's a massive army lurking about. Yes, that's what we were going to do. We were going to go and do go here and take care of this, which is what we'll do now. And then we'll figure out, we're okay for food, money we're hurting for a little bit, but he can't help that. Uh, I might switch him out for him. Just trying to find people that need to be leveled up, really. That's okay. This should be a relatively straightforward fight, hopefully. I, I do wish that if you fought like in buildings and stuff, you'd have like ruins and stuff on the map. That would be really cool. Oh, I still got this up. Um quick news announcements my new series is starting today so if you guys want to look at uh, it's called Shadowrun it's a blend of sci-fi and fantasy role playing game from um, the 1980s they, it was published in 1989 it's very very fun if you've ever wanted to shoot orcs and trolls in the face with shotguns this is the game for you it's like cyberpunk and all that kind of goodness right they're pushing hard Okay. We'll push into them and take the high ground. And cut them off from being able to counter attack. Okay, that sucks. Move him up here. Put an arrow clean through his arm and he sort of screams and staggers back. One second. Why is it you could never get the people you wanted to move? Okay, he's gonna move here. Swing for the head. Okay, that's a shame. He's gonna go there, so he needs to go here. Cut his artery wide open. We'll crash into this bloke and give him a good whack. He can go here. And sealed block. You can charge in here and give a good slash and decapitate him. Actually, we won't push the advantage. You can jump here. The axeman, my, you can put the axeman. We'll put Hill here to cover them. You can move up here and put a crossbow bolt clean, for, well, an arrow clean for his lung. You will move here to support these two. You can jump up on this hill and kill him and do his morale some damage as blood flies everywhere. Now we have some support. The problem is he's going to jump up on that hill and be a pain, isn't he? Probably. I'll leave him here then for a moment. Yeah. He needs to have his morale fixed. Get rid of his shield. We'll get him. Yeah, pretty much took care of his helmet. Where's he gonna go? He's probably gonna go up there. He's gonna block, which is a pain. Kill him with a swing at the bill hook. He's gonna take our take his place, which there's no bother to me. Put an arrow or crossbow bolt clean for his hand. Kill him outright. Actually, let's just shield bash him. Then he can jump up on here. And we will hack him into him. And we'll wail on this guy. And give him a good smackdown. 
We'll jump down here. Give him a good whack. Kill him. We'll push up here. And give him a good beating. Swing into him. Ah, well, that's a shame. He can go up here. You can step into that gap. And give him a good whack. Uh, so you s try to get out. That's no big loss for me. We'll put a crossbow bolt, uh, an arrow onto you and pierce your hand again. And you'll follow up with one there. Oh, you missed. That's unusual. Okay, so he'll move up here. You can kill this bloke. I'd just like decapitate him. We'll bum rush this guy over here so he can't run away. You continue to beat on this guy and kill him. Get there. He's probably got to break this turn. Ah, you're still standing. Impressive. Stupid, but impressive. He blocks. Doesn't matter to me, really. You're all going to die. Reload. Missed. Curses. Okay. Cut him open. Just surround him and hack him to bits. Kill him. And we'll pile on this dude. He can't do anything. Just keep beating this guy in. There we go. Straightforward, nice and clean. Got some stuff, which is excellent. And cleared that place out, so we'll head back up here. They've taken that place over, that's going to be a pain. We still have to worry about that war party that's roaming about, which I'm not happy about. So this is why I'm playing it at single speed. Our tools are terrible. We need to buy tools. Right. We're going to go through this woodland and I'm massively terrified. Come on. Another arm. Yeah, they've been massacring everything along this road. My money is that they're going to be on here somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, you in your tent when King Clem makes an entrance, he speaks bluntly. Nobles, nobles be talking. Big fancy tents set up yonder and there and there. Putting your quill down, down you spawn. Just talking. The mercenary shrugs. It's quiet. So they're either talking or killing one another really quietly. Like you get up and step outside. A brisk air hits you and you're on and. And on it is the scent of spices and flavours. Looking upward, you spot a tent. Cooks and ch and, ch and ch chefs are hurrying about with orders of food and other making. Servants carry platters of meat, vegetables and fruit. An opulent tent, black with gold embroidery, houses the nobles. Bannermen stand outside. They take no part in the festivities. They're mostly, just, they're mostly playing cards. We are occasionally glancing at one another. Some are bandaging... Ba some are bandaged with blood spots, linens. One man stands stands on crutches with a haggard, half-cooked, cocked knee. He asks King's, Kingslayer what the news is. He nods towards the scene. Well, they rolled up about an hour ago while you were checking out, when checking the maps. We don't want to bother you, but well, they seem intent on staying. On staying, so you know, you get a good look at the noble tent through its opening. You can see the faint glisten of of crowned hand of crowned crowned heads passing back and forth. Kingslayer spits and asks, well, who do you think won the war? You hokaluga split and shake your head, who gives a shit? All that matters is that you, all that matters is you, to you is that peace means fewer contracts. Perhaps now there would be a good time to put up the sword and enjoy your crowns. Or maybe say to, he maybe say to hell with all the sentimental crap and just keep pressing forwards. Ooh, interesting. Basically, it seems the civil war has come to an end. Um, interesting. So we can retire from the mercenary life. We can end the campaign now if we want to, or we can um, 
or maybe say hell with all and send McCrap and just keep pressing forward, keeping the company even greater, even greater things. Ooh, this is really interesting. Um, hmm, I don't know what to do actually. Well, since the the civil war is basically winding down. The Sons of Kuna needs to command them. We'll basically press on until we become legends. That's interesting to know. Let me guess, do they still hate me? No, they do not. I mean, they're, they're cold towards me, as are most of settlements, but... That's cool. And we have great fame. Awesome. That's really awesome. A bit of a shame that I actually didn't get around to doing much, because... <laughs> My level wasn't high enough, I should have ground grind a lot more and have got better gear. For next time, perhaps. But no, we're gonna wait until we get to the legendary status. Yeah, see look they were posturing around here for ages. Now let's sell off some goods. Sell off that, sell off that, that can go as well. Good news is there's going to be a lot of people out of work, so we should hopefully get ourselves some relatively cheap men at arms. Right, we have that. Grab these furs. And so back on the road again. Let's go up here, see if they have any work. Do they have any cheap tools? Yes, they do, so we'll grab those. Those skins are not quite as cheap, but we'll grab them as well. Food is okay. What's this contract? Uh, ancient battle site east of here. I know the one. It's a pain. Um, not really interested. Right, let's run off down to here. Man, they really had the armies out, didn't they? Looks like they were making a large push. That's never fun for me. Let's get in here quickly. Yeah, let's sell these and we'll make a bit of a profit. Not much, but an okay amount. Is there anyone worth hiring? No. Ugh. Liverpool contract. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, but I'll head down this way and see what we can find. So it seems they are at peace, which is nice. Now I don't have to worry about getting attacked by military patrols, which is always a pleasant thing indeed. But the downside is that if they go back to war, these guys will have basically rearmed and they will push hard and they'll probably win, which is not fantastic. But if that happens, we'll just switch sides and jump, jump in bed with them. So I really don't want to, to to get on their bad sides. Right. They're cold towards me because of course... Do you have any work? It's going to be pains. Level 1 contract. Let's talk pay. Eh, why not? Hunt down what's terrorizing hands off. Probably going to be dire wolves. I 
Either that, it's going to be the those guys, the man-eating flesh creatures. There we go. Now they actually are die wolves. So I take it back. That's interesting. But those guys, a whole bunch of dire wolves, which is never fun. You leveled up. Excellent. Bit more stamina. Melee defense needs to be improved. Get that and boost that up. Die rolls are always a pain, so we'll probably what we do is quickly give him. We'll just hit sound 65. Oh, he should be okay. Probably want to give him the cleaver. And let's take on these guys. Yeah, we are in the forest, which sucks. I hate fighting in woodland. It's 10 versus 12, which isn't great, but we can bottleneck them. Right, where's the choke point? We'll pull back to the here. I hate fighting in forests. Uh. Yeah, I really hate fighting in forests. Put a crossbow bolt for its kidney. Hold off a turn. You get here. You get here. No, it's dead, is it? Okay. We'll move up here and block. And kill that one. So they'll have to come through this gap. Ah, I don't like fighting in force as a rule. the others coming from down the bottom. Okay. There's another one coming up the top. Missed. That's a pain. Hold off a turn. Get here and we'll try and kill this one quickly as possible. Crossbow bolt into his gut. Kill it outright. Excellent. Give them all morale penalties. Keep on wailing on it. Cut its face wide open. Cut its leg wide open. They've got that gap here. And we need to basically help fortify this position. Ouch. Yeah, that's going to eat into our tools. Okay, yeah, that's not great because they're all focusing down him. It's not fantastic. Kill him. Missed him. Curses. I was hoping because he had the, the worst morale, it's going to be easy to hit. Cut his stomach wide open. 
Put a crossbow bolt into his chest. Come on. Excellent. Hit this one whose morale is already wavering. Kill him outright. We've broken those two, which is excellent. Gave this one a concussion, so we'll jump up here. And missed. Oh, that's a pain. Cut them in stomach wide open. Gave that one a bloodied soda. Cut that one's leg, front leg wide open. Cut its archery. It's going to be suffering penalties to hit because the morale is worse. Swing for the bleachers. Miss. Curses. Come on. Kill that one outright. Excellent. Hack into its tendons. Tendons. Get here. No, I'm not going to bother shooting. I always hit my own guys. Kill that one. Move up. Kill that one. Cut that one wide open. Move here. Give it a good whack. Ah, oh, wrong person. Curses. Okay. Yeah, its morale is terrible now. You can go in here and support. Put a crossbow boat through it, or a whip off it, over a crossbow boat, you're okay. So over him into combat. And there we go. And some pelts, lots and lots of pelts. Ah yes. When the battle is over, you heard the men start collecting pelts to take back to Reinhold of Ertendorf, your employer. Right, let's go this way. We should be able to get back. Our tool supplies aren't looking fantastic, but yeah, I have the feeling that we would they would have lo we would have probably lost a war. You return to own the Ertendorf and laid a pile of pelts clear across the desk. It's a limp core wrap against the side of the oak. The man lifts one, then lets it fall again. As you found the beast we were looking, you were looking for, you tell him about the battle. He seems most pleased, taking a small wooden chest out from his bookshelf and handing it over. 600 crowns, as agreed upon. The people at Ertendorf deserve the reprieve you have given them. Right. They don't like me very much. Understandable. Right, let's head down this way and see if we can get some work. Because they don't like me very much down this way, but hey ho. Benefit is, now all the stuff down here is open up again and we can go exploring, which is excellent to get more fame. Our tools are okay, our tools aren't great, food isn't fantastic. One of our guys leveled up. Who was it? Cynical. Get that lovely and up. His perks. What do we want to give him? May speciality, that would probably be nice. Inflict crippling strike, maybe. Flail, fail mastery, that would probably be a nice one to have. Takes less fatigue. Or was did we give him the heavy armor one? Yeah, we did. So we want to give him f weapons mastery, probably. Let's see if they have any work. Or at least let's let's just camp for a second, and then we can check out to see if they have any work. Level three contract or level two contract with the guild. Fighting orcs won't come cheap. Accept the offer. Okay. So where are we going? All the way down there. Long way to go, I might have to take a boat. 
Yeah, I just realised something. This is the first time I've had to take a boat in this game for absolutely ages. Awesome. It's nice to be actually be able to do stuff like taking boats again. Because I hadn't been able to do that for quite some time. Right. I need some food even if it is back-breakingly expensive. We'll sell the pelts and cover some of our costs. The tools here are massively overpriced, we're not going to touch them. They have antidotes. Interesting. Hmm. We can customise our guy's appearances. Is there anybody we want to hire? Jogglers need to have good reflex and hand-eye coordination for their profession. Uh, not really interested. Let's grab a boat. Um, where do we actually need to go? Where's the nearest port? So we seagull fest, seagull fest, down there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Don't like me very much, but hey ho, what's new? Tools are still massively overpriced. Nothing worth really picking up in the shop. Nobody worth hiring because I need to hire some people to replace my losses. Squire. Ah, that might be useful. I'll think about getting on the way back. Right. Let's get going. We'll speed up the turn. Three days worth of food, tools aren't fantastic. Yeah, they're being played by orcs. Nothing really worth a thing here. Cultist hood. Cool, but the problem with having cultists in your party, I find, is they start converting your people, which never ends well. Nothing worth it in the armory. Right. Well, since it's actually about to become night time, we won't reach the camp in time. I'm going to camp. You notice that it matters a few days. Take that. Ooh, we gained. We decided to take a chunk of meat and prod the dog. It skitters at first, barking at backing away at approach. But the aroma of you have the aroma. But the aroma you have in hand is a luring one to be sure. The Mongol slinks back towards you, pausing here and there, eyes flickering in the search of of an ambush. You give the you you can see the barrel of ribs on the dog. Many days on the road have given the pup a gaunt frame. Its ears are stitched up, and its tail bolted with signs of battle. This is an animal now. This is this here. Uh, this here animal knows how to fight, and it's just what you'll be doing for each from you from now on. Okay, so we got. We have a we have a hound. Excellent. We'll give it to probably him. Speed up. Food is okay for a second. Right, and we'll set off now. And we'll get here. Brigands. Yeah, we'll fight them. A few folks, a few marksmen, some brigand raiders. Yeah, this is not a great place to fight them. We need to get up on high ground. Right. I think all their archers have gone. Actually, one of their archers hasn't. We need one person in that gap. We want to grab this high ground, really. Can they get here this turn? No. So he's going to go here. We're 
we've got to grab this high ground and give ourselves an advantage. Because I'm not stupid enough to let this, escape, this opportunity escape us. Put an hour clean for his arm. He's going to move up there, try and engage. We're going to grab this high ground, which will be fine. We'll go around the back. I don't want my guys getting shot at by everyone. Can we get to there? No. Now they're at the disadvantage because they have to come to us. Right, so how are they going to react? Yeah, they got to counter charge. I thought they would. They can't afford to let this opportunity slide. The archers are going to be a bit of a pain, but we should be able to deal with them. That crossbowman is going to be nasty. but we should be able to deal with him. Right, he's going to jump back here. When's his turn coming up? Turn done, turn done. Nine turns. Fourteen turns. His turn is coming up soon. So hold. He's going to go up there. Up here for your boil. He's going to charge across open ground like an idiot. And my guys can start shooting the people down here. I thought we could get a lucky shot off. Right. Kill him. Because that. Oh, I thought that was going to kill him. Oh, that's not good. Right, time to counter attacks. I need him dead. Flank him on this side. Give me a second to try and figure out what I'm going to do next. Put him there. The problem is if we jump up there it's going to be 2 on 1 which is going to be a pain. Sealed block. Yeah, I was worried of that. Split his stomach wide open. Ah, there's a lot of them. Alright, we need to fix that. Right. He's got... Kill him. We'll chase him up there. Put an hour cl crossbow up clean for his face. Uh, where do you want to go? Hold off a turn. Can he get out? No, so he's going to have to kill him and then move. I want that guy dead. But I want him dead even more. 
Does it matter? Because I can't get any of them. Would like to have him dead. Put a crossbow up for his lungs. Kill him. Give a whack to him. He can move up here. We'll give a slash attack on him. He's going to run away. With this, what we can do is then we can sub him here. Excellent. He's going to try and smack me with that. He's going to try and shoot me, probably. We'll release the dog in a second. Release the hound. We'll go here. The dog can come out. He can come up to support. The bloke's probably going to hit the dog and kill it. Eh, a distraction. He's taking a lot of damage. We'll f focus on this guy down here. We'll move him up. He'll get a shot off on him. Oh, it's this rock. You can deal with that guy. Kill him. You can't do anything. You're going to... Slash this guy to bits. Cut his artery wide open. Reload. And can please, some please kill this guy. And we'll send someone around the... Uh, I was thought someone around the back thought that was going to work. He's going to run off screaming. We kill him relatively simply. He's out of the picture for a second. He's going to run off. Yeah, he's going to swing that. I thought he was going to. He misses. Of course he does. Ouch. He misses as well. None of my guys are hitting today. Kill him. Put a crossbow bolt for his lung. Let's get him. Missed. Okay. That's a shame. We can still send him out to pin this guy in combat when he flees. This guy can jump down here. We'll give him, I thought that was going to work. That missed as well. And that missed. I was hoping that was going to kill him. With him being dead, we can jump. Cut him wide open. Kill him. He can't do anything. I'm not going to break his shield. Yeah, I was hoping it was going to work. Pull him down to a lower level. I'm happy with that. He's broken. He won't get to that guy in time. So we'll jump there. Reload. Kill him. You can run over here and help out. Move as far as you can and we'll try and get you to join in. Oh, lovely hit. And now he's on the low ground, we can beat on him a bit. Can't do anything. Kill him. Now we just smack on him. There we go. A little bit of damage. We can heal that up. Got some okay amount of stuff. Food is okay. Uh, our, our gear took a pounding, which I'm not happy about. So we'll swap some of these guys out.
get him up. Crossbow. Kingslayer is okay. Oh, that's a bad stat roll. His morale needs improving as well. He needs to have rotation. Uh, I don't particularly like rotation. I like the other one though. But he needs to be switched out. Trenton. Uh, these guys took a pounding. Fiasco. Cesar isn't too bad. I would like to give him a flail. Just we need to go and get these orcs. Food will hold out for three more days, just tools won't. But ooh, okay, that's bad. An orc berserker, some orc warriors, okay. Hmm, this is not going to be nice. Orc warriors are massive monsters. I hate fighting them. I want to say some. Ah, uh, I don't want to take the contract because it won't. I don't want to break it because it will piss them off. How bad is that affecting my morale with them? They're hostile again. Oh, seriously. The problem is if I'd taken that, I was going to lose people because Orc Warriors are horrible. I mean, it will come back over time. I know it will, but. I mean, will it? Hostile. Yeah. Typical, isn't it? I, I finished a I finished a piece and we managed to get straight into a hostile situation. Uh, I thought it was going to be straight up orcs. Ah uh, well. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook. Well, so you can follow me on Twitter and you can follow me on Steam, or you can leave a comment in the comment section and groan at my inc my moronic stupidity of managing to get myself back into hostile situa situations. I'll see you all next time. Good.